also if you are excited about that or you've seen stuff like that before I'm really glad to be able to share it in a music classroom actually I think it's really cool and I have some questions for you that I want you to have a little bit of a discussion um, with your neighbors about so here are the three questions I'd like you guys to consider number one what did you notice about the spacing of the switches or the note blocks as the rhythm of the melody changed Here's a second question. What might you expect to hear if you see a lot of note blocks or switches that are close to each other or that are really spaced out? And the last question is, how do you think knowing the rhythm of a melody would affect the way a Minecraft builder would design the layout for his or her musical landscape? That's what I kind of call those like these videos that we're sharing. So go ahead and have maybe a two or three minute discussion with your classmates. And if you play Minecraft, maybe you'll consider playing around with the music blocks and seeing what kind of cool visual representations you can come up with. You can compose in Minecraft and you can compose in Minecraft in 3D space. And I just wanted to come outside and tell you you know, I certainly have been spending a lot of time looking at a screen and there's a lot of great things about the virtual world, but really there's nothing like getting outside, getting sunlight, and maybe picking up some flowers or smelling them. So I hope that you're getting a chance to enjoy this really beautiful weather and I am looking forward to seeing you outside again.